Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect the PlayStation Classic Controller up to your Linux machine so you can use it on the EPSXE emulator which is a PlayStation 1 emulator. This is the one I've been really excited about because you know it is the closest thing to an original PlayStation 1 controller that you are going to get and it has USB functionality and because it is wired only it, you know it's just plug and play it just works great so there's no drivers required so let me show you the controller. So you should be seeing the controller right about now. So we've got the PlayStation Classic controller right here. And on the other end, it is a regular USB 2.0 cable. And all you have to do is plug this in. So I'm just going to put a hub right here. So plug it in. So once you've plugged that in, you're ready to actually use it. So what you want to do is go to config, game pads, Pad one and literally just start mapping all the controls. So as you can see, there are no analog sticks because the original PlayStation 1 controller never actually had analog sticks. They released the DualShock version later on, which had rumble and the actual analog sticks as well. So you can't, you know, have any analog sticks. This is the original experience. Well, let's start mapping all of this up. So it's pretty simple, you click on the one that you want to map, then press the button on the controller, and now I can start. Use this end to L2. As you can see on the original one, the buttons were very small as well. They weren't even like the bigger buttons that they introduced later on. And in the PS3 and PS4, they introduced the you know actual triggers and not just regular buttons but again this is the original experience that you are getting right here one last key last select and that's it we're all done with the mapping so the others this is for the you know the l3 and r3 which is clicking in the analog stick and this is for the analog stick as well but because there was a optional controller later on you don't actually need those in literally any game so you you know you're all good to go i've already mapped it now let me just run a game and show you it working. So I've got Crash Bandicoot, the one I always try. I've got a state that I've saved, so I'm just going to press F3. I've turned down the volume just so you know you can hear me. And as you can see, it is working fine. And we have a PlayStation Classic controller that you can connect to your Linux machine. It can be any Linux distro I'm using Ubuntu, doesn't matter what, you know, Linux, what version, it should be all good to go. So you can end the video right here because we were, we're all done. We set it up, we plugged it in, we mapped it, and you can start playing games. If you want to watch me play Crash Bandicoot as I do in a lot of these videos, then, you know, feel free to carry on watching. And if this is something that you want to, you know, see more of, you know, me playing games, but with, you know, different controllers like a Wii controller for example for you know a PlayStation 1 game and trying to play as much of it or all of it then you know let me know and there's something that I potentially might do. Uh, oh yeah I was also thinking I wonder how much you can pick up and looked how much you can pick up a PlayStation Classic controller for because I know the PlayStation Classics they originally were I believe a hundred quid and uh, I think about just a hundred dollars or so and that's you know online that's how much i bought it for you know, you know if he hadn't been hacked with you know bleem sync for example it would have been a terrible you know purchase i still don't think it's a worthwhile purchase at that original price even with the hackers considering you can get you know you could get a ps3 hack that will get a hacked one off ebay and not only could you have you know, PS1 games on there, you can have, you know, store, you know, oh, damn it, wait. It's going to be awkward now to actually do it. I have to do the actual jump, so let me try it. So, yeah, and so at that price, you just, and the fact is you couldn't get any extra games other than the one they had on there, which was another bad thing about it, but... The, you know the price got reduced like really quickly. I remember we going to like 60 quid or so within a week or two like really fast. I can't remember what the exact time frame was but I remember it, you know it wasn't like months or anything and then I think I've even seen them as low as 20 quid so I'm wondering like 
how much people are selling the controllers for if they ooh. oh my god that's always difficult to do i can't believe i did it oh yeah so i know there's two boxes left here and then there's a turtle and wow but again even if i die from the turtle i've got an akuraku i mean if i hit the turtle I've got an akuraku so I technically can't die i'm gonna have a quick look make sure i've missed any oh yeah yeah that's made me happy that's made my day let me just move the mouse so yeah, I wonder how much the controllers are going for, like on eBay or Gumtree or Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. People might be selling them quite cheap, but in, then again, you can get the actual console itself for probably 20, 30 quid, and sometimes even brand new, which you know has two controllers in there. So I think that's great. That the fact that they did give you two controllers and the and the fact that they just plug in, plug and play on even you know, Mac, on Windows, on Linux. In all fairness, Linux does a great job with you know controllers and input devices. You know, a lot of them are plug and play. I'm gonna turn it up, because I'm gonna go da da da, because I got the jam. Okay, then I'll open there. I think I press one of the buttons which skipped that little bit, but Okie dokie, so that's it. I think, yeah, I must have just skipped it. And yeah, that is how you connect up your PlayStation Classic controller to your Linux machine for the EPSXE emulator. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome video.